Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Um, today's video is going to be a different style video than any other one I've ever shot. This is, I don't want to say more of a vlog style, but kind of. Um, you can decorate my Christmas tree with me. Everything will be linked below that I used in this video. Also, I know it looks a little probably weird that I have um, a door here behind me, but for some reason our house has two entrances and we never use this door. And so we put it in front of this door. Make sure to go below and click the subscribe button if you are new here. I put up three videos every single week and I'd love if you were a part of my YouTube family. And let's just get into the video. Okay, so these are all the ornaments that I'll be using. Um, a lot of them came from Hobby Lobby, but you can now find them on Amazon. This, this one has been kind of like picked through, but these are just like tiny little balls that I put in. I have these as well. Um, I put these in to kind of give just like a little bit of depth and dimension to the tree. Then I use these like rose gold balls. All this stuff will be linked below, but this is just kind of what I use when I am decorating. I also have this white ribbon that I kind of want to use. I usually wrap this around the tree, but I'm not sure if that'll look good. So we'll just have to see how it all looks when it's all said and done. These are just a few special ornaments that I have. I will link every special ornament that I use, even if I don't have it in this little clip right here down below. And then this is an ornament that my mom made me and my fiance when we got engaged. So this is our Christmas tree. It is just a very tall, I think it's like seven, seven and a half feet tall. It's a very skinny Christmas tree. Um, we had a very small tree in our house just because um, our other house was about like a fourth of the size of the one that we're in now, maybe half the size of the one we're in now. And so a small tree was all that would fit. And then I have a hearth and home Christmas tree skirt that I got um, just a few days ago that will also be linked below. Okay, so first when I am decorating the Christmas tree, I start out with the really, really big Christmas ornaments and then the really, really small Christmas ornaments. I also use um, the ornaments first that look the most like disco balls or I know are going to catch the most light. So things that are going to really be bright, not necessarily with glitter on them, but something like these tiny little balls that you just know are going to catch a lot of light is what I put on first. I push them deep into the tree and do not put them on the outside. That way they're really catching the light of the tree and making it look more full. The smaller ornaments I do place specifically near light bulbs so that they really reflect that light and this is really going to make that tree look more full. I don't know why more people don't actually do this to their tree because it's a very simple hack. So something else that I have done every single year to my tree and um, it gets a little more difficult as the years go on because I have cats and kitten and now I have a dog and so it does get a little difficult but basically I just tie a very very thick strand of like ribbon around the tree. This is going to kind of just add to it make it fill up a little bit more. Um, it does take some time and maneuvering. It did take me and my fiance. I did cut him out of the clip because he was just standing in front of the camera a lot of the time but this does take about two people you have to really play with the ribbon go back and forth with it see what you're doing and then I resumed with the rest of the normal ornaments this was kind of where I started putting more rose gold ornaments more glitter ornaments I started just kind of placing them in a normal way not so much in the back of the tree like the other ornaments that I had um, this is just really gonna fill up that tree obviously this is something that everybody does but we do specifically have to try and make sure our ornaments are either high up if they're important or stick to the tree very very strong because our cats will knock them off if we don't. All right and the Christmas tree is done. The actual um, box lights are making it look a little less than it actually is because there's tons and tons of ornaments on here. 